The U.S. government gives emergency approval of a treatment for COVID-19. It's a cocktail of drugs made by Regeneron. The FDA says it's okay to use it for some high-risk patients. It's the same treatment President Trump took when he had the virus. Regeneron says it will have doses for 80,000 patients this month and a half a million people before the end of January. Now, as the number of COVID-19 cases continue climbing, hospitals are anxiously awaiting drugs like Regeneron. CBS 2's Meredith Barrick is joining us now live. And Meredith, what are local doctors saying about this drug? Suzanne, Dr. Ernest Wong, who is the chief of emergency medicine at North Shore University Health System, says treatments like the Regeneron treatment are helping during this second wave of COVID-19 that we're currently seeing. But regardless, many health systems are in crisis mode right now. Dr. Wong says the numbers we're seeing are much higher than what we experienced back in the spring. This is taking a toll on hospital workers who are also caring for patients who come into the ER for things like car crashes or heart troubles. Dr. Wong is holding on to hope that relief is on the horizon thanks to drugs like the Regeneron treatment and approval of a vaccine. There is... Uh, hope around the corner. The vaccine data it, uh, news is great. And I think if we can just hold out, you know, till the spring, um, uh, we'll be in a much better place. It could be months, however, until we see that vaccine. Dr. Wong stressing in the meantime for all of us to continue to wear our masks. Reporting live along the lakefront, I'm Meredith Barrick, CBS 2 News. Thanks so much, Meredith.